What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make crowd signs for your WWE action figure arena. So as you can see guys, today I am going to be showing you how to make signs for your WWE crowd. You know, you may not have an elaborate arena like this. You know, the MDT arena is the greatest in the game. I mean, truly look at this special awesomeness. I'm just kidding guys, but it is, you know, it's it's over the top. I mean, you don't need all of this mess, but uh, I want the most professional look for the PickFed MDT Live, as you can see right here going on. Got a referee in the freaking ring right here, sort of leaning against the ropes. Let's go ahead and stand him up right here if he will piece of trash come on anyways but um i'm gonna show you guys how to make your own crowd signs i know that again not everybody's arena is this massive you may just have a few guys out there but if you want to bring that realistic feel to it and you want to have some crowd signs i'm going to show you how to do that here today all of mine were made by venomine figs my boy represented in the crowd back there by that uh, makeshift Luke Gallows back there, Venomine Figs. Go follow him on Instagram. Go check out his channel. Absolute beast. He is amazing. He makes very entertaining videos. Very nice guy. One of my favorites and one of my best friends in the community. So definitely go check him out. But uh, it's, very, it's very, very simple. I mean, he had to show me how to get the figures to hold them. They're sort of a pain in the butt to, you know, hold right here. But, uh... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Before I even get into it, let's go ahead and take you through the crowd signs. We got an R.I.P. Finn sign with his head chopped off right there. We got an MDT Live is greater than Vindication. We got the Venomine sign. We got a Charmus Prime back in the back right there. The Rated R Superstar Edge sign. We got a Trash Corbin sign up front. We got an Iron Man uh, Braun Strowman sign right there. In the middle, we do have a what is good, everybody sign. In the corner over here, we do have a few others. We got two sweet. We got a Kenny Omega and a CM Punk. Over here, we have an RKO sign and a Bullet Club sign. And we finish it off over here with RVD holding his own sign that says RVD. So I do have a few other signs that I have not used right here. And they're very, very simple. You know, uh, they're just a bunch of just basic stuff. Kane, Ross, Jericho. But uh, what you want to do is you just want to have a piece of paper like this. All you need is uh, blank sheets of paper. Construction paper is thicker. You know, it feels better. This is art paper, so it's pretty thick. feels good in the hand. But uh, you take your Sharpie, whatever. you got your pens and Sharpies and color. You can even paint some if you'd like. But uh, basically what you do is just see if I can get this off. There we go. So then all you would do is, you know, if you just want to write, I don't know, MDT on there. It says MDT like that. And then all you would do is you would take your scissors and you would cut it out. I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle. So I went ahead and detached it right here, guys, and all you're gonna do is take your scissors and obviously just cut it out. So this is what we're looking at when it is all completely done. Obviously, it's a piece of trash, but uh, maybe I can show you guys exactly how these figures hold it. It's not that hard. What Venomine does is he covers his in scotch tape, so they have like a little protective border around it. I'm not going to do that here today. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like here. So uh, give me a second. I'll get a figure. So here's the final result, guys. You have Triple H right here, and all you have to do is turn the hands up so they're like, you know what I'm saying, doing like, I don't know, like grabby hand, like you're grabbing towards the scotch. I guess and you bend the arms all the way lift them up and then you just place the sign down in the tighter hand and then some of them have fists when they're holding fists it's a little bit harder to you know get the sign down in their hands but it's really easy you just pop it down in there put it like that and then you'll just stick him in the crowd like so let's see if I can go ahead and do this in one shot for you guys uh, you just stick him right here in the corner and then, bam, we got a Triple H holding the MDT sign right there. Probably won't keep that there. I don't like to put signs on this side because I'm trying to get entrances and I'm trying to, you don't know, you know what I'm saying. I don't know, I may add a few more. There are a few signs I want to create, but right now the arena is looking good. I've wanted to add these for a while, so now I have finally done it. Hopefully you guys know how to add crowd signs to your WWE figure arena now. Pretty simple stuff. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm glad to finally, you know, add some... Uh, Storyline type crowd signs, you know, the uh, R.I.P. Finn one, the uh, the Edge one right there, the What Is Good Everybody, of course your Kenny Omega over there, but that pretty much does it for this vi video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Hopefully, again, you learned something from the video. Comment down below if you've done this before, if or if you learned something from the video, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Never forget.